Um, then you got, they have a lot of faulty reasoning. Um, when dementia when dementia advances, people uh, may say and do things that seem irrational or based on faulty logic. For instance, they might bathe with, with extremely cold water when they are feeling mildly warm and catch a cold. They may stash away things in strange nooks and corners and give strange explanations at, when asked about their behavior. Um, and that's what um, I have to deal with that a lot with my mother. Um, uh, in fact, um, it's, it, for those of us whose parents are, were narcissistic or had personality disorders that were diagnosed, and we know that before they be, uh, got up in age or became demented, De demented or suffer from Alzheimer's. Don't think that this gets better with age. It doesn't. Daisy, it gets worse with age. Wait. Um, they, they still, if they were manipulative when they were before, they'll be even more manipulative when they uh, get older, up in age. The narcissist or the personality disorder individual does not change that behavior um, because it's, it's the personality is ingrained in them. So they're not going to get better with time. It's not like fine wine. It's like the more, if they were a big, you know, if they were a serious narcissist, a covert narcissist before, they're going to be a covert even worse, in my opinion, when they're older, you know, like the same um, a vanity, for instance. Um, a girl was telling me about her mom who loved to wear her lipstick. So still, even though she had her stuff on wrong, inside out, but she'll take, she'll have some lipstick and smear it over her face and be ready to go out because she thinks she's hot. You know, and, and it's been part of her behavior before, and she never saw her mom like that a flirtatious um, individual acting as such. But she's in her seventies and has dementia, and um, she's performing that way. I mean, man, I'm not talking about just a little menopausal forgetting stuff because I do that. I'm not talking about like that. Um, I'm talking about this. What I'm reading to you. So you make your own assessment about what's going on in your family and then decide, are these symptoms uh, uh, worth you investigating more about your family member or remaining in denial like so many of us do? We put up with this craziness and don't have any help when there's, you know, societies out there that can help you and take some of the stress off of you, like the Alzheimer's Association. Um like disorientation, let me give you another one. Dementia causes disorient, disorientation of time, place, circumstances in most patients. They tend to be confused about what day or year it is, are unaware of the passage of day and night, and can lose track of what they're doing. Um, affected individuals may forget that they ate for breakfast that day or become confused about familiar surroundings. This aspect of dementia only worsens over time. Um, the disorientation factor with my mom is so disheartening because she'll eat and then she'll tell me, um, no, she'll be angry because she'll say, nobody came in here and gave, I didn't have anything to eat all day, all night. And it's clearly not true. Or I haven't eaten in two weeks. And she just says the most bizarre things, you know, and you're like, how long can I do this? How long can I allow other family members to do this? We have somebody in, um, a couple people from the agency, um, but it didn't work out for whatever reason. Um, and um, like I said, culturally it's difficult, but once you get up out of denial and then you have to make some moves that you have to do, then you start coming at one with the things that, that are happening to you and your family. And you gotta be ready and prepared. You can't make excuses. 
you know, because we good at that. Individual with dementia lose their comprehensions rapidly. They may not understand what is happening and ask the same questions over and over, have difficulty telling time, following instructions, reading, and writing. In the initial stages, a low degree of incomprehension can be misattributed to inattentiveness. See? Because sometimes that's what you can think. Um, then they have balance problems. You know, having dementia also affects physical movement. As motor control gradually decreases, individuals may be walking with a stoop or leaning to one side. They may be more prone to accidents such as stumbling and falling due to balance issues and disorientation. Lack of self-care tendencies. Individuals with dementia often stop practicing rigorous self-care and hygiene as the disease progresses. They may not want to bathe or wear clean clothes and might disregard clutter or dirty living environments. Well, that's not the case with my mother at all. So, But she wouldn't be able to if left to her own um, fruition. She wouldn't do it, be able to do it. Change in appetites and eating habits. Over time, people with dementia can lose interest in eating. They may adopt unhealthy habits such as skipping meals or spitting out food. A caregiver may make sure people with dementia continue to eat properly to avoid malnutrition. Also, loss of social skills. Lastly, I want to say. Impaired judgment causes loss of social skills with people in, in dementia. They may behave and speak inappropriately in the company of others, often offending or even frightening um, other people. Now, I have two parents that exempt that it exemplify at least five or more of those symptoms every day all day and um if any of y'all are dealing with this give me some feedback if you dealt with it um i don't know how long we can i'm um, i'm making arrangements with my father right now um, but I don't know. I just don't. Um, because to love somebody and to watch them deteriorate is very difficult. And if you've had parents that were good to you, albeit however many things they did that you don't agree with, that you didn't do, that you would have did better. If you... In, in my opinion, I don't know if I would feel so compelled to do these things if um, I have um, not been, uh, um, you know, had a relationship growing up that was not complete with them. You know what I'm saying? Or whole or healthy. I think I don't know if I would even be doing this. Now, I guess that's a hell of a thing to say. <laughs> um, but I think enough of myself to know that I have to take care of me. And while I try to make sure their lives are as comfortable as possible, and I, I feel compelled to do that, when it starts getting all across the line, where they're fussing at me and screaming at me like I used to hear Baba Dick doing to people. Um, like he did Bobby Delanton Smith. <laughs> and Bobby did everything he could. He did. He was very respectful like he should have been. Because just like in Vonda Evans' case, what he was saying was just not any, uh, and I'm talking speaking of Dick Gregory, was not anything to get angry and challenge anybody about. But that's what he did. 
So, you know, I just wanted to share that with y'all this morning. Um, do y'all think that Dick Gregory, Baba Dick, the honorable ancestor, was suffering from a form of dementia or Alzheimer's disease? And I'm asking it not to be disrespectful or anything like that. Um, like I said, I'm dealing with it. And um, I wish I could get in, talk to his son. Uh, what's his son? Christopher or Christian. He's got a few. He, well, he got 11 kids. Hell, I wish I could find, ask any one of those, their, his kids, that question. Anyway, y'all tell me what you think. Okay, I'm going to go. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.